Are you terrified of getting older? Does the thought of grey hairs, wrinkles and the passing of time leave you filled with anxiety? Well, it's time to face your fears head on and embrace every stage of your life. Because in today's video, we're going to be discussing the topic of ageing. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the social pressures and the stereotypes that perpetrate the fear of ageing for mainly women. From a young age, we're bombarded as women with messages that beauty equates to youthfulness. And the younger that you are, the more desirable that you are. And these societal expectations can create a deep fear of ageing. I know that many women out there know exactly what I'm talking about. As I know that many of us women feel the pressure to conform to the unrealistic beauty standards. And it's getting worse and worse by the day. The impact of beauty standards on the woman's perception of age is profound. We're constantly bombarded with images of youthful, flawless skin and glorified images of youth. What I've realised is we start to compare ourselves to unattainable ideals. In this episode, what we're going to do is debunk the myths and misconceptions about ageing. The thing is, ageing is not to be feared. It's something to be celebrated and embraced. Because when you age, it means that you're alive, <laughs> believe it or not. You are alive and kicking and you should be enjoying every single day of your life. There is power and grace that comes with age. So it's time to let go of the fear and embrace it's the freedom that comes with accepting and celebrating every stage of your life. So are you ready to let go of the illusions that surrounds the fear of ageing? Because I know I am. I definitely am. What we need to remember, ladies, is that we're worthy no matter what age we are, no matter what society says, no matter what that man says or them men say. We are all worthy. What we need to do is embrace the wisdom and the strength that comes with every single stage in our lives. So what we're going to do is let go of society's expectations and create a world where ageing is a glorious journey of self-discovery and self-acceptance. So let's get into this video. And as usual, this video is broken down into, actually not three chapters today, it's broken down into four chapters. And they are challenging societal beauty standards, embracing the wisdom and benefits of ageing, cultivating a positive mindset and self-care, redefining beauty and self-love at every age. So ladies, let's get into this video. Oh, actually, before I move on, I'm gonna ask you guys to subscribe by pressing that little red button and also press the bell symbol so you are notified when I put a video out. And I'm also gonna ask you to like this video right now because when you like this video, it helps it to reach the heights of YouTube and so many like-minded ladies can see my video and it just helps me too. Thank you very much. I appreciate your help and support so, so, so much. So let's get into part one, which is challenging societal beauty standards. The fear of ageing is not something that magically appears overnight. Most of the fears that we have have not just been conjured up into our heads out of nowhere. Most of it is done through subliminal messaging that society puts out there. It's deeply rooted in the societal pressures and the beauty standards that surround us. If you think about it, from a young age, we're bombarded with messages that equate youth with beauty, worth, and desirability. And this type of messaging creates fear within us and it pressures us into trying to meet unrealistic beauty standards. And we see it today all the time. We see so many young women who are putting Botox, fillers, skin peels, micro needling. It's like constant and it's getting younger and younger. I remember when I was younger and all I used to use on my skin was simple face wash and astral cream. That was it. I put on some lip liner and that's it. I would go out and that was it. But now the young girls are filling their lips, they're filling their cheeks, they're putting Botox into their forehead. It's just constant and they're doing it in their early 20s. Early 20s. So think about how long they're going to have to keep this up for. But the thing is, what we have to realise is it's not their fault. It's the pressures of society. You've got people like Kylie Jenner who was feeling her lips at like 18, 19. And this is these young girls role model. So they want to look like her. So they're doing what it takes to look like her. And this is the issue. This is the problem. So this seeps into young girls from such a young age and it follows through all their life getting worse and worse and worse. So what I wanted to go on to now is age and loss of beauty. So today we are here to challenge these norms and to debunk these misconceptions around ageing. And one common myth is, which I think is insane, is that age equates to loss of beauty. I don't know where they got that from, but I feel that my looks, I grew into my looks when I got into my 30s. 
in my twenties, you know, you're growing and your face, yeah, you you know, you look good and but I feel like you grow into your features and when I reached thirty, that's when I started to see myself my beauty kind of shining through a lot more. So this thing where they say that, oh, as you get older, you lose your looks, that is that is rubbish. And I feel like that's what a lot of women fear. And it's not based on facts or something that they've seen. It's just based on fear mongering. The myth that states aging equals loss of beauty is a load of rubbish. Beauty is not confined to youth alone. It evolves and blossoms in every passing year. Think about people like, I was looking at Kelly Rowland the other day. And Kelly Bona has always been a pretty girl, but now she is in her 40s. She's absolutely stunning. She's the best she's ever looked. Even people like Angela Bassett or even, I'm trying to think, even, I think that Kourtney Kardashian is beautiful. And even her, when you look at her when she was younger, she was pretty, but now she's in her 40s. She's absolutely stunning. And I, thought, I find that with a lot of women, I find that, when you're younger, yeah, you've got that cute, you know, that plumpness in your skin, that youthfulness. But I feel like the beauty kicks in in a lot of women's 30s. So these myths of ageing equaling to loss of beauty, that's a whole lie. That is not true. So I encourage you to question and to challenge these societal beauty standards that leave many women fear ageing. Who gets to define what beauty is? Who gets to define what is beautiful? Who gets to decide when we become less desirable? It's time for us to reclaim our power and redefine beauty on our terms. Did you hear that ladies? Redefine beauty on our terms. So what I'm going to do now is share a few empowering stories of women who redefined beauty. These ladies redefined societal norms and embraced their age gracefully. These ladies have shattered the illusions that youth is the only path to beauty and success. They have embraced ageing and the wisdom that comes with age. So the first lady I want to talk about is Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett is absolutely stunning. Her body is banging. She is at the heights of her career. She is successful beyond belief. And she is stunning. And I know a lot of you have to agree with me. Like, Angela Bassett, she's... I don't, I don't know how, what... What is her age? Let me actually check what her age is. Let me see. I have to check. Angela Bassett. Age. 65. Angela Bassett is 65 years young. Yeah, and she looks amazing. Have you seen her arms? Have you seen her legs? Have you seen her body? Have you seen her waistline? Her waistline is better than mine. <laughs> she's better than mine. And she's 65. I know she's got money and I know she's got all this, you know, but she still looks amazing. So Angela Bassett has not only embraced her age, she has become a symbol of timeless beauty and grace. And for her confidence and the refusal to conform to societal expectations, she has showed us that beauty has no age limits. She still works out, she still goes to the gym, she eats healthy, she takes care of her skin. She is what many women would love to be at her age, me included. Another remarkable woman is Maya Angelou. Her wise words and her empowering presence still continues to inspire generations to this day. And her wisdom came with age. Her wisdom came with age, so that's what we need to remember. She once said, my mission is not merely to survive, but to thrive and do so with some passion, some compassion, some humour and some style. This shows us that beauty comes from within and is not defined by outward appearance or age. Recently, I've been looking in the mirror and analysing my face a lot. <laughs> I'm sure that other ladies do out there, or is it just me? But I've been looking at my face a lot and I'm like, oh my gosh, like underneath my eyes look dark or, you know, I've got a little fine line there. And like, I actually sometimes think, oh my gosh, what is happening? Like, what is happening to my face? Like, seriously? I don't know if I'm just paranoid or what. And the thing is, everyone thinks I look young for my age, but to me, I've lived with this face forever, so I just see me as who I am. I don't see, like, I don't see that I look younger. I don't see that I look older. I just feel like I'm Naomi, and I'm the age that I am, and this is what, this is what I look like, so this must be... I don't know. I actually don't know, but... I have been feeling that way recently and I've had to just kind of say, Naomi, you know what? You are beautiful. You are stunning. You are ageless. Like, just 
love who you are, love you for you. Anyway, it's time to challenge the societal standard that has us living in fear of aging. Embrace your age as a badge of honour, a testament to your wisdom and experiences that you have gained on this journey of life. Because it is like, this journey of life has given you wisdom. It's, it is literally a badge of honour. Because so many people don't get to where a lot of us have got to so far. What we have to remember is that as we age, we gain a whole load of knowledge that we wouldn't have with our age. Half the amazing things I know now, I didn't know as a young girl. So what we have to realise is that it's like, you know, you have a snowball and it starts off really small and you keep on rolling it in the snow. And as you, as you roll it and roll it and roll it, it becomes bigger so you can make a snowman. That is the same with us as we... As we keep going, as the years go by, as we get older, we are sucking in knowledge, experiences, wisdom that come with age. So let's redefine beauty by embracing our unique selves and embracing the beauty that comes with every passing year. Let's move on to part two, which is embracing the wisdom and the benefits of aging. In this part, we dive into the wisdom and the benefits that you gain with ageing and embracing the process of natural ageing. It's for you to discover the unique beauty that each stage of ageing brings and to celebrate the growth and the personal development that comes with age. So here you ask, what are the benefits of ageing? Firstly, ageing is not something to be feared. It's something to be celebrated. With every passing year, we gain wisdom, life experiences, and a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Our self-confidence grows and we become more comfortable in our own skin. And I don't know if I'm the only one, but as I've got older, I've gained this whole new type of confidence, seriously. And even from last year to this year, I've become more confident. I feel that comes with age. As a woman, I've been through certain experiences that have helped me to change and mature. My body changes, even that changing, makes you feel more confident. There's so many changes that happens within our bodies, which naturally helps us to build confidence. I may look a little older, but the confidence that I have is something that I like, <laughs> and I wouldn't have it any different. Embracing the wisdom that comes with age, it allows us to navigate life with a sense of grace and perspective. We have learned from our past experiences and we carry that knowledge forward, which helps us to make wiser choices and just to navigate life a lot better. And it also helps us to approach challenges with a lot more wisdom and resilience. I know that along my way, I have gained that experience of how to deal with certain things. Before, I might, you know, fly off the handle if I was approached with a situation. But as I've got older, I've learned different techniques and different ways that I should act in certain situations. My mannerisms have even changed. So with age, we learn to deal with things in better ways. Well, we should anyway. <laughs> it's important to embrace the beauty that each stage of our life brings. Society might tell us that youth is the epitome of beauty, but true beauty transcends age. Let me say it again. Society may tell us that youth is the epitome of beauty, but true beauty transcends age. Do not forget that, my sisters. Do not forget that. And remember this, without aging, you wouldn't have experience. And without aging, you wouldn't have wisdom. Those are two things that come with age. I remember my grandma. She was a woman of strength and resilience. She came from Jamaica. She came with my uncles and my aunt, and she had more children here. But she was a lady who showed so much resilience and strength. She was quite small and petite, but let me tell you, she was a strong woman. As she grew older, her confidence and her self-assurance grew with her, and she always embraced her age with a sense of pride. My grandma was such a little storyteller, and I remember her telling us these stories, and when she passed, my dad even told me a lot more stories about her and I realised that she was such a powerhouse of strength and that came with age. She wouldn't have been who she was without age. As she grew older, I'd see the changes within her face. Obviously, when we age, we start to look older, but her mind was full of such wisdom. And that's what you find with most elders. Like They may, they may age and they may look different, but the wisdom that comes with them is out of this world. Remember, aging is not end of the journey, it's about evolution and it's about evolving. It's never ever too late to learn. And as we go along life, we are like sponges, just sucking up information, sucking up wisdom, sucking up experiences. 
and that is a beautiful thing. What we need to remember is that aging is not the end of our journey, but a gateway to new possibilities. You can still explore new passions, embark on new journeys and continue to grow as individuals. Remember, it's never too late to learn or to evolve and to become the best version of you. If you want to go back to university at 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, you can. It's possible. You can change your life around at any age that you want to. In our society, we often put value on the physical aspects of youth, but true value lies in the wisdom and experiences. And I'm not downplaying being young. We have to start off young, so we're not downplaying being young. But what I'm trying to say is aging is not a bad thing. So now we've come to the end of part two, but before we enter part three, I want to ask you guys something. So what I want you to do is to share with me one fear or one negative belief that you've got and commit to reframing it in a positive light this week. Let me know what it is and please share in the comments box below. So let's get into part three, which is cultivating a positive mindset and self-care. So now it's time to discuss practical strategies to cultivate a positive mindset and prioritising self-care at every age. It's time to reframe negative thoughts, nurture your well-being and redefine your beauty standards. Negative thinking is often the culprit when it comes to the anxieties of ageing, but it's something that needs to stop. We need to let go of negative self-talk and embrace the power of a positive mindset. Negative self-talk is soul-destroying. I've done it and I think we've all done it. And I used to just talk negative things to myself all the time until I realised I was doing it and I had to stop it. And ways that I stopped it was through mindfulness. When I would have negative self-talk and I was conscious to it, I'd have to switch to a positive affirmation. So if I thought something negative and I realised, I'd have to switch it to a positive affirmation straight away. What we need to do when we have negative self-talk is focus on our blessings. There are so many blessings and opportunities that come to us every single year throughout our lives. We need to celebrate these milestones, the lessons learned and the growth that we've achieved. Another way to stop negative self-talk is to practice gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool and what you need to do is take a few moments every single day where you sit down in silence with a journal and write down things that you are grateful for. If you don't have a journal, just do it in your head or say it out loud. I am grateful for the food on my table. I'm grateful for the money that I have in my purse. I'm grateful for the sunlight that is shining down on me. I'm grateful for the gift of sight. As simple as that, that's how easy giving gratitude is. Just giving thanks for the things that we have. Giving gratitude can change a negative mindset just like that. And it helps you to see all the wonderful things that you have in your life. And next up, I want to talk about self-care. Self-care is not a luxury, it is a necessity. Self-care is a foundation for nurturing vitality and well-being. It's good to create self-care rituals that not only nourish your body, but also nourish your mind. It could be as simple as taking a walk in nature, indulging in a soothing bath, giving yourself a facial, or just going to get your nails done. Those are all self-care practices, and they help us to look good and to feel good. What we all need to do is prioritise self-care as one of our daily rituals. We also need to incorporate lifestyle habits into our daily routines to ensure that we stop things such as negative self-talk. It's about maintaining a positive mindset and well-being. Things such as nutrition, eating superfoods, drinking water, going to the gym, these are all things that contribute to a healthy lifestyle. Nourishing our bodies with healthy foods, taking away sugar, taking part in daily activity and getting restful sleep is crucial. When you don't sleep properly, it's hard to focus and it can have your mind in a whole mess. So ensuring that you have at least seven hours of sound sleep per night is essential. These habits not only support your physical health, but they also support your mental health. So now let's talk about the psychological and emotional toll that the anti-aging obsession takes. Society bombards us with messaging that aging should be feared and fought against. And this messaging can take a toll on your mental health, leading to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. Like I've said before, age is something not to be ashamed of, but rather a celebration of the journey and the person that you have become. Let's embrace aging and enjoy the life that we've been blessed with. So now it's time to move on to part four, which is the final part of this episode. 
So now let's talk about redefining beauty and self-love at every age. So we're going to talk about the societal beliefs that perpetrate the fear of ageing and we're going to explore powerful mindset shifts to redefine beauty and cultivate self-love at every age. A self-love is something to embrace in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s at every age because self-love is something that we have to invest in because once we accept ageing we can grow old gracefully. As we know the fear of ageing is often rooted in outdated patriarchal beliefs which equate youth with beauty and worth. For a long time society has upheld unrealistic standards of beauty that privatises external appearance and we've seen this so so much. Women are often seen as sex objects, we are. We are fetish, fetishized, fetish, fetish, fetishized, that's it I think. That's why when a woman's in her 20s, she's seen as being in her prime. And then when you get to your late 30s, you're seen as geriatric. <laughs> Is it geriatric? That's it, isn't it? Geriatric. Where they say that, that we're no longer, you know, fertile. You know, and all these labels have been given to us by men most of the time. But us as women have to know and embrace ourselves how we are and know that we are more than our external. Our external appearance is just a fraction of who we are. But as we know, today is about challenging those beliefs, those man-made beliefs, and reclaiming our power as women. Aging is a natural and beautiful process. That's what we all need to remember. When you look in the mirror at yourself, remember that this is all part of me. This is all part of my, of my journey. You can look back at pictures of when you were younger and think, wow, like, look at the transformation. When I look at myself as a baby, I'm actually, like, gobsmacked. I'm like, that is me. That is me. That little baby is me. I've looked at pictures of myself when I'm 8, 10, in my teens, my 30s. I'm like, oh, my gosh, like... Look at that transformation, it's like, it's amazing. It's an amazing thing. Aging is a gift. It's a gift and that's what we need to remember at all times. Emphasizing self-acceptance and self-love at every stage of our life is important, especially on this journey where we're trying to redefine beauty. I mention self-acceptance in nearly every single video that I make because building blocks to becoming the woman of your dreams is accepting yourself as you are. When it comes to being happy and content in your own body, it comes down to accepting yourself. I'm not gonna say that we don't look in the mirror at times and think, you know what, I wanna change this, I wanna change that, I don't like my belly, I don't like my legs. And when we see things like that, we are entitled to want to change them. And so if I see a blemish, I will go and invest in some vitamin C serum, cause I know that that will help to make the blemish vanish. If I feel that my stomach is too big, I want to eat less and exercise. So it's okay to look at yourself and feel like, you know, I'm not happy with this or I'm not happy with that. But overall, self-acceptance is about loving who you are and being content in your own skin. Because no matter what, you cannot change who you are. We are all going to age. We are all going to age. Even the baby that was born yesterday is going to age. It's just a natural cycle of life. And what we need to remember is that no matter what age we are, we are all entitled to love, respect and acceptance by others and ourselves. So it's time to let go of societal expectations and love yourself, flaws and all. And remember, lovely ladies, true beauty transcends age and it's not confined to a specific time or appearance. It's about the light that shines from within. It's about the kindness that we show to others. Surround yourself with positive influences and affirmations that remind you of your worth. And don't forget to practice self-care rituals that nourish your mind, body and soul. And don't forget that this journey is about cultivating a positive mindset, self-acceptance, self-love and self-care. And as we draw to the end of this video, what I want all the ladies out there to do is to embrace yourself as you are. I challenge everybody who's watching this video out there to write down five affirmations, five self-love, self-acceptance affirmations and do them every single day and night. And what I want you to do is to block out what society says is normal, block out what society has pushed onto us as normal. We know that beauty comes in many shapes and sizes. We know that Every woman and every man is going to age. So aging for women should not be different to aging for men. 
men are also aging. Society has pushed their beauty standards onto us. And as we know, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Beauty is different for every single person. So don't allow what you see on Instagram, what you see on the TV, what you see on YouTube to make you feel less than. You are beautiful in your own way. I've seen some stunning 60 year olds, 70 year olds, some 60 year olds that look better than some 30 year olds. So at the end of the day, I'm not trying to downgrade anybody's beauty. I'm not trying to do that. But at the same time, I feel that women who are over 30 are always made to feel bad or less desirable. And that's, that's just a whole load of rubbish. So I want every lady out there to walk with their heads house high, knowing that you are beautiful, knowing that you are aging with grace, knowing that you are gaining wisdom as you age. This journey of life is about growth, it's about evolving. So don't ever feel bad for aging. And don't feel forced to have to take Botox, lip fillers, fillers. I've even thought about it, I've looked at, I've looked at my eyes sometimes, I've looked un underneath where I feel like it's kind of losing that plumpness and thought, oh, you know what? Maybe I just need to get a little bit of filler. And I thought, Naomi, stop being silly. Just accept yourself for who you are and work with what you've got. But anyway, what I want to say is love thyself. That's why my slogan is love thyself because I want you guys to love yourself no matter what. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this video. And don't forget to share this with your sister, your cousin, your mum, your auntie, your niece, and any like-minded ladies that you know. Bye for now. Mwah.